We live in a state that right now has decided to take cruelty to a new level. I am the daughter of two pastors. I have a strong moral core. I was trained to read and understand the Bible, and I will tell you this. There is nothing about the decision to eliminate access to abortion care that is grounded in anything other than cruelty and meanness and danger in the state of Georgia. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> abortion care is a medical issue. It is a medical decision, and in the state of Georgia, it is a dangerous one. Brian Kemp, and yes, I'm going to call his name, is a hard right religious extremist who has decided that he knows better than any woman about her body and has decided to make women second class citizens in the state of Georgia in the year of our Lord 2022. But let's be clear about what this law does. A six week ban means you either fail biology or you fail morality. Because it is before most women know they're pregnant. And as I just told you, 82 counties don't have an OBGYN, which means by the time you get an appointment and find transportation and get in to see someone, it is already too late to get the help that you need in most of Georgia. It is because of that that women who have, are at risk for a miscarriage or for ectopic pregnancies or for a preeclampsia will be denied medical care until their lives are in danger. And we, this is not hyperbole. In the state of Texas, who has the exact same laws, they've already investigated women for miscarriages because under the law and under science, that's technically called a spontaneous abortion. And so the law will say, well, no, you can't, be, you can't be criminalized for an abortion. Well, how are you going to know the difference unless you investigate women at one of the most traumatic moments in their lives? Under this law, an ectopic pregnancy may be forced to rupture before you can get medical care. And again, this isn't hyperbole. It just happened in Texas where a doctor told a woman she had to be hemorrhaging before he could provide service. And those are the very same laws that we have in the state of Georgia, only we have fewer doctors and fewer nurses and fewer hospitals and fewer opportunities. It is now lethal to be a woman in the state of Georgia. But if a man is that wrong, it's going to take a woman to make it right. That's why I intend to be the next governor of the great state of Georgia.